Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. As we record this video, today is October 29th and we are exactly 155 days away from reaching our fire date. And we just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update on a video we've done a while ago and a maneuver that we're implementing is the Smith maneuver and see how it's working into our plan. Are we crazy? Are we nuts for borrowing money from our equity in our home in order to invest? Uh, but stick around. We're going to cover some of these topics and let you know how we're doing today. And here's what we're going to cover on today's video. What is the Smith Maneuver? We are going to give you an, an overview of the Canadian economy because it does affect the Smith Maneuver. Mm -hmm. We are going to provide you an update on where we are and the things that what we are going to do, and especially answer the question, are we going to be able to retire in 2024 with inflation going that high? So. Stick around, lots to cover on today's video, and we should get started now. Yeah, and just a really quick note, we're going to talk about the Smith Maneuver, and that relates to people here in Canada. But the principles we talk about and the topic of borrowing to invest is a topic that could relate to anybody anywhere in the world, because many people do it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so just because it says Smith Maneuver, borrowing to invest. Yeah. So what is the Smith Maneuver? Basically what it is is, Assume that you have an investment account, that you are a margin account where we are borrowing money to invest. So you go to Mr. Bank, you knock at the door and say, can I borrow some money? The Mr. Bank says, yeah, go for it. That's what we did. We well, it's a HELOC. Yeah, with the home yeah. equity line of credit. Perfect. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> so that's basically what you did. You go to the bank, you borrow the money, you transfer the money from that HELOC into a margin account and use that money to invest. In our case, as we are here in Canada, we do this with the Smith Maneuver because of the tax advantages that we have in our favor. Sometimes when interests are down, it's good. When interests are up, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's what. And the whole point behind it is, one, you generally have untapped equity in your home sitting there that's mm -hmm. just not being utilized to its full potential. Yeah. And in Canada, we cannot in, um, deduct the interest that we pay on our traditional mortgages. So by borrowing that money from a home equity line of credit and accessing the equity in our home, mm -hmm. we can use that money to invest. And that way, the interest that we pay on that money becomes a tax deduction. Let's talk about the Canadian economy and what is going on. Well, I mean, the Canadian economy looks much like a lot of other economies mm -hmm. in the world, right? Our unemployment rate is currently sitting about 5.5%. I'm sure the Bank of Canada would like it to be a little bit higher, so yeah. <laughs> it might drive inflation a little bit mm -hmm. lower. Inflation is high. Our interest rates are probably the highest they've been in, I don't know, I think probably 16 years or so here in Canada. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's hard, right? It's not an easy environment for anybody to be living in after the past mm -hmm. decade or more of extremely low interest rates. Yeah, and it's kind of really related, well related to the Smith Maneuver, right? Because what happens is or to a margin account or any kind of borrowing that we are having now. Because if the interest rates are up, it means that the cost for borrowing that money or what, what you have to pay on interest at the end of the month is also high. Mm -hmm. So if it is high, it means what? Oh, I'm not going to spend that money. I'm not going to borrow the money because I'm going to pay a lot of interest yeah. on it. You wouldn't be able to make those payments, right? Yeah. And that's exactly what's going on within the Canadian economy. As you, you can understand now, we are not economists or we are not <laughs> just like a regular no. couple <laughs> who decided to borrow money to this invest. Sunday morning yeah. coffee economy and talk. <laughs> we are in hopes that in 2024 we are going to be mm -hmm. able to retire. Seek until the end of the video, we're going to answer that question right away. But as we can see, if the Canadian economy is on that direction, it means that the TSX, which is the index that we have here in Canada, mm -hmm. to see how you know the market is going, it's also... It's lower. Low. Yeah. I mean, I, we haven't quite reached the lows of 2020 yet, mm -hmm. but um, it certainly it's is off its highs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As we did say, we were recording the video at the end of this 
month basically mm -hmm. over the last two months you guys have seen you know how red you know the ocean of the yeah. index of the stocks are going now right i mean i know we're getting close to christmas and reds of a christmas color but i'm really tired of seeing no, it in yeah. <laughs> it our is. portfolio it is, it is. <laughs> let's go back to the other the other topic which is the smith maneuver and what it's going on with that account As we did say a few minutes ago, the TSX, the index here in Canada is down. If we focus on the top five stocks that you know, are part of this index of the TSX 60, let's see how they are doing. So basically the top five positions are RBC. Year to date, as we record this video at the end of October in 2023, RBC is down 15%. TD, TD Bank is down 12%, the CNR, CNR, which is the Canada Natural Resources, is up 22%. Canadian National Railway is down 11%, and Enbridge is down 18%. So this is a, sorry, go ahead, a snapshot of the top five, mm -hmm. you know, uh, stocks within the CSX. Four out of five Three. are down. Oh, four, yes. Yeah, four out of four five are down. Out of five are Three down. Three of the five we have in our portfolio. <laughs> Three of five we have in our portfolio. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that goes with the majority of our portfolio to be complete. Well, I would say it goes for the entire portfolio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the entire portfolio that yeah. we have currently is down. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, that's the nature of the stock market. You're going to have ups, you're going to have downs and you have to really be able to ride them out and not panic and not sell and trust that the companies that you've chosen to mm -hmm. invest in are solid and are going to ride out this storm along with us. Yeah. So in our case, from all of the stocks that we have within the Smith Maneuver account, where we have 100% stocks and all of them, only one is green and it's barely barely <laughs> like, green i don't even know if it's still green. yeah oh, i don't might know be. yeah it i think might it's just be, but barely. all the other stocks within uh, their accounts are down are in red and it, they have been red for quite a few yeah. months now they might be red however they are all canadian dividend paying stocks they are all very well established dividend paying companies and year to date uh, we have not received any dividend cuts, nor do we expect any moving forward. That was last yeah. year. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Year to date. Okay, Algonquin, I'm looking at you. I am not happy <laughs> with what you have been doing to all of us. We keep doing, we haven't sold yet. Yeah, so even no, though it's, it's not down, going anywhere. That's, that is what it is. Mm -hmm. So let's, answer, so basically the Smith Manure account is down. We wanted to answer four questions regarding that account. The first question is, oh, we already mentioned, right? So the first one is, we have only one position green and all the other ones are down. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. We keep investing. I mean, the money is already invested and we keep receiving the dividends. Mm -hmm. If you are new to this channel, every month we share with you the dividend income that we receive over the years mm -hmm. right so there is a playlist that you can take a look but we are doing nothing you're just yeah. quiet in our places yeah. recording videos to youtube there with the hopes that you guys <laughs> we'll might watch. like this video are <laughs> gonna give us a, a, a thumbs up yeah. so that's what we want the next one is because interest rates are going up your cost of borrowing is going up so what are you doing it is true um, our cost of borrowing on the home equity line of credit has pretty much doubled in the past year and a half. Yeah. Um, however, the actual mortgage on our house is quite low. Mm -hmm. um, and as many of you already know, we rent out a portion of our home, which is really offsetting the cost of that um, borrowing. And so it, as yes, it has gone up, which means that we don't have as much uh, capital that we have just available every month to invest mm -hmm. because more of our free cash flow is now going to pay off the interest every month on the HELOC. However, we're still fine. It's not, um, we, we know where we are able to keep the, the mm -hmm. equity line of credit. If we need to pay some down, we will, but right now we're good. Yeah. We are not, we are not borrowing more no. money. So when we see opportunities, we say, you know what, it might be a good opportunity. So we go and take advantage of yeah. it. But as of today, 
nothing. All that we are doing is receiving the dividends. We are, about, you know, we haven't stopped work yet. So we keep reinvesting those dividends. Which it comes to the third question is what are you doing to protect your investments? Uh, I just mentioned a few seconds ago. We keep diversifying our investments and that's what we do. That specific account, the Smith Maneuver account or the margin account, this is the account where we have all of our, the majority of our Canadian stocks. However, we also have investments on other accounts mm -hmm. with the exposure outside Canada. And that's what we have been trying to do. And fourth question. With the market situation and the fact that everybody's portfolios, for the most part, keep going down, are we still going to be able to retire in 2024? In our opinion, yes, 2024 is still very doable for us. One, because the dividend income has stayed strong. And in fact, we just received um, an increase from Amira. I think we just noticed that Amira has increased their dividend slightly. So yes, because our plan is to retire and live off of our dividend income for the first five to 10 years, we believe we are still fine to go in 2024. Mm -hmm. In fact, if the market stay a little bit lower, the money that we're going to receive um, as we both leave our jobs and so potentially sell the house, stuff like that, is just going to present a really good opportunity to buy in when the market is slightly lower so that as we leave that money for its growth over the next 10, 15 years before we need mm -hmm. to start drawing that down, um, it'll have the opportunity yeah. to really start compounding. Yeah, 100%. And another, you know, factor that we took in, in consideration, we recently run the numbers again one more time. Mm -hmm. That's the third person. That's the separate. third separate person that we run the numbers. And mm -hmm. with the results that we've got it from the different scenarios, mm -hmm. we are still good for 2024, even with this market, you know, at yeah. that at that state. You guys have a great week and we will talk to you soon. Take care, stay safe, and you'll see you in our next video. Bye guys. Bye. I have to close.